Rec, 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 rec League Podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Podbean, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Radio Public, Good Pods, Pocket Cast, Breaker, and Stitcher. At Rec League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Threads. At Rec League Pod on Twitter. Episode 145. Coming soon. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? I just watched Smile 2, the uh, sequel to 2022's Smile. Um, if y'all can do the creepy ass smile, don't at me. That shit is unsettling. It stars Naomi Scott, Rosemary DeWitt, Kyle Gallner, Lucas Gage, Raul Castillo, and it's directed by Parker Finn, who directed the original, and I forgot to look up what else. You got Naomi Scott, pop star. Think Taylor Swift, Sabrina Carpenter, Olivia Rodrigo, and she becomes haunted by the smiling ghost monster. I just watched the original for the first time yesterday. The cover art creeped me the fuck out and I knew this movie was coming so I just decided to wait and watch it before the second one. I thought the first one was really good. Super creepy, ominous, eerie. And and, and the score, the camera work, I, I dug it all. Performances, I dug it all. Celsi Bacon was really good. This one is more of the same. Um, I think like the contrast and like a dope contrast, like Celsi Bacon, who I'm pretty sure that was like her first lead role, played a doctor, very low key, very like contained story. Naomi Scott, who I've been aware of since the 2017 Power Rangers movie, plays a pop star. In the, in the public eye, every single breath in the public eye. So the stakes are just so much more elevated. And it makes for a crazier, more tense, atmospheric, still eerie. All the all the describing adjectives still play. And they're they're notched. They're turned up. Because she is a public figure. And due to her backstory, combined with some incidents, there's there's no way she makes it out of this looking good, right? Everything worked. Everything worked. Because this is a thing, like, pretty much kind of sort of similar to It Follows, except the taking of one's life is what spreads the in infection. It Follows, it's sex. But it's it's it follows was like independent and shit like that. These smile movies have have the paramount big budget Hollywood money gloss on them over. Not that one is better than the other. Not that one is more preferential or whatever. They're I think they're both good in their own lane. It follows is, is about to get a sequel soon. Um, but this sequel was just crazy. Uh, performances good like like my man Nick at the Nick Goodman on, on the Twitter put up last night a tweet about all the great lead actress performance in horror this year I don't think I've seen that much horror this year but I don't know if he acknowledged Abigail I'll have to go back and look because he added pictures if, if he included um but yeah Quiet Place Day 1 Abigail come to mind add Smile 2 to it Naomi Scott was great um just just the convey the just conveying fear and you don't know what's real you don't know what what you're hallucinating and 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 i jumped like i'm a like i'm a like a horror movie if i jump and i jumped twice within like two minutes it was great but that's what i'm saying though like i'm gonna keep going back to the stakes and how how 
a public figure being haunted like this is just so crazy because you have so many eyes on you, so many people that are relying on you. And when you start to look like you're tweaking, everybody loses trust and all of that, right? And then like, if I'm going to complain about both movies, actually, I think that the what's real and what's not gets laid on a little too thick for the viewer. And then all of a sudden, something that is happening or isn't happening flips to the opposite and then it's you you have to like take a step back like oh shit but like this the, the setup for two was just so smooth it was like we could do a two so here's like here's the little like here, here, here's the little push pin here's the little thumbtack just in case we want to do a sequel the way that this ends, it's just like, bro, we're doing Smile 3, and you're going to go see it. You're going to go see it, and this is why you're going to go see it. This is some of the best sequel setup I think I've ever seen. I don't think I'm hype beasting. I don't think I'm overhyping. I don't think I'm, like, wearing new movie goggles. The end of this movie is so crazy. With all that being said, I will say that in my opinion, Smile 2 was dope. If it is if it's not better than the first movie, it's at least as good. I think once again because of the stakes and who the protagonist is, I think this is better than the I like this better than the original. So have you seen Smile 2, man? What you think? Positive, negative, somewhere in between, let me know. I uh, recently put up, a couple weeks ago, a trailer, a review for the Joker sequel, Foley Do, Joker Foley Do. Um, next weekend, the plan is to watch and review Venom, The Last Dance. And then we're in November. And my next two, my, my second review away, two reviews from now is probably going to be Red One. Because the uh, the Tom Hanks, Robin Wright, Robert Zemeckis directed movie here goes wide on the 15th. But I don't, I don't think it'll be in my theater, period. We didn't get Saturday night. Why are we going to get here? Um. So yeah, Rec League Podcast, we're doing because... Real life, real life intervened last weekend when we were supposed to drop. So we're about to do two episodes in back-to-back -back weekends. So be on the lookout for this upcoming episode. And we're basically just talking about our October watch list. It's an episode we've done before, but not really conversationally, you feel me? I've had people, friends, family come in and, and give us a list. But at the very least, me and Rocket are going to discuss what we enjoy watching in October. Could be a 10 hour episode could be a 10 minute episode y'all gotta check in to find out man like subscribe comment find me where you find me don't know where to find me watch these credits peace